welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Laura and I make baking and cooking videos. I put up two videos a week. Today's recipe is a very simple recipe. It's a meatloaf recipe. The meatloaf recipe I use is going to be with the Lipton onion mix packet in it. This is a great make ahead recipe. You can just make it, wrap it in some foil or saran wrap, throw it in your freezer and the night that you're going to need it, just pop it in the oven. I'm trying to get some recipes up that are uh, weekday friendly. If you're a working family, I know how difficult it is to get dinner on the table without too much time. This is a great recipe. I hope you enjoy it. But before I leave, if you have any suggestions on any recipes you would like for me to try, leave them in the comments below and I'll take a look there and see what we can come up with for a future video. Okay guys, don't forget, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video and don't forget to share our videos with friends and family. Okay, let's get started. Here we go with the meatloaf. I have a large bowl and what I use for my meatloaf is I use half ground beef and half pork. Okay, you use whatever beef you like, whatever beef your family likes. And here I have the pork. Okay. So we're just going to get in there and mix this up before we put in the vegetables. I just get in with my hands. That just seems like the fastest way to do it. Okay, now as far as what we're going to put into the, the mixture, I am going to add just a little tiny bit of onion because the Lipton recipe mix already has onion. And I'm going to add some red bell pepper and some celery and they're chopped very, very fine. You just want to get in there and as it's cooking so that it cooks down the vegetables. And if it's too big, it won't cook them down. Okay, now I am going to add some tomato sauce. I might add more, but I'm going to mix this in first. I'm going to add my breadcrumbs and my Lipton recipe mix. I'm going to show you this. This is what that is, okay? It's just one pouch of this Lipton Recipe Secrets Onion Mix, Dip Mix. Okay, then we're gonna get in there and mix it up. And if it's too dry, you feel that it's too dry, you just add a little bit more tomato sauce. And I don't think it's gonna need salt, but I will add some pepper. This is normally what I put in is about a cup of tomato sauce on the inside. I also add some on top. Now we're going to add in our egg to bind it and that helps with the moisture as well. And that's it. Real easy. Okay, just like that. Let me clean this up and I'll get a tray. Okay, here I have a cookie tray lined with some foil for easy cleanup. My oven is already preheated to 375. We're going to take our meatloaf mix. Just take everything out of there. And we're going to shape it however you like. Now you can make this into two if you like, two smaller ones. Okay, just like that. And then you take your tomato sauce the rest of your tomato sauce and you put some on top. We're still going to reserve some because we're going to add some more right before, about 20 minutes before we pull it out of the oven. Just all the way around. Okay, and that's it guys. Look at that, how fast and easy. Now, if you wanted to prep this for uh, another day or for the weeknight meals, just wrap this up in foil, mark it that it's your meatloaf, pop it in the freezer. The day you're going to use it, you can go right into the oven, 375. Okay, we'll be back. I'll be back to show you what this looks like after it's done. Okay, the meatloaf has been in for about an hour. I'm going to take it out and put a little more tomato sauce on there for the last 30 minutes or so. 
Okay, I'm gonna put it back in and we'll be back. Hey guys, I have the meatloaf out of the oven. I'm gonna check the internal temperature. It just needs to reach to 170. And it's gone a little over, so that's okay. That means it's done. I'm gonna let it sit here for about 20 minutes to half an hour just so that the juices can redistribute and then we will cut into it. So I will put the temperatures and the timing in the description bar below. Everything is ready. The meatloaf has rested for a little bit. I am gonna slice up to it and show you how I'm gonna serve this up for dinner. I just get something to hold it with. And there we go. Look at that guys. Delicious. And I just paired it up with some mashed potatoes and some uh, fresh green beans with some bacon and garlic. And that makes for a great dinner. Okay guys, that's going to do it for today. That's going to conclude the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. The, the link is going to be right there. And also, if you would share my channel, it sure would help, help YouTube put us on the algorithm so they can share my content. Okay guys, if you have any questions at all about the recipe, leave it in the comments below. I will get back with you. The recipe will be in the description box along with any items that I used. Don't forget, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and share the video with family and friends. Okay guys, see y'all later. Bye.